welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world and today special guest Sean Hi. my friend Sean who is now being very quiet he usually isn't very quiet at all but you turn the camera on he's like so you know we're gonna see if we can get some noise out of him with some of this oh my god yes this is not in English just in case you looked at it and went what the heck does that say I did the same thing but this is from Norway. Matter of fact, this is from Miss Rita, Linus Design. She made me this beautiful bag. Look at this project bag. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty with the cardinals. And it's squishy and it's lined and there's pockets inside. I will link her somewhere. Up, down, down below, somewhere. Okay, because this, very, very nice. Be sure to check her out. Anywho. She sent me a bunch of things from Norway. And this is the last of what I have from Norway. I was saving this, and I'm pretty sure this is milk chocolate. Milk and chocolate and something. I don't, I don't know what it says, but it's all in Norwegian. And even on the back, it says Orkla Confectionery and Snacks Norsh, which I think is like Norway. I don't know. Um, this is a 180 gram package. It's pretty big. It's a nice big thing of chocolate. Uh, there is some English on here though. Best kept dry and cool. Yes, it hasn't bounced around though. This is it's, it's, it's a there's a break in it. It's gone from Norway to here and to every room in my house bounced around in that bag where I have to move stuff around sometimes. Um, the ingredients all look just delightful. There's nothing weird in here because it's it's in English too. Um, sugar, milk powder, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, emulsifier, soy lecithin, which is in just about everything you have when you have a chocolate bar. Um, may contain traces of nuts, almonds, and gluten, which is always a good warning for those who need it. Yes, I'm going to open this sucker. Actually, yes, it even says something that I think means open here. <laughs> so we're going to open it here, as opposed to opening it in there. I mean, when you have the packet with you, you almost have to open it here. Unless you've got really long arms, even longer than mine. <laughs> or you're doing it with a robot or something. I, I don't know. I'm confused by that. But, you know, whatever. Now, let's see if this is, in fact, De oh, it, <laughs> it's not Deborah Poof packaging. What? Yeah, it's busted. But that's okay. Busted chocolate is still chocolate. Yeah, you can tell it's been busted a little bit. But it's all these little squares that say, I think that's the brand name, Nidar, Nidar. At least it's not neuters. All right, piece for you. Thank nice you. big chunky piece for you. And I'll get a piece for me. And this looks like solid chocolate. It is. It smells like milk chocolate. Mmm. It's very creamy. Once your mouth melts it a little bit, it's like, oh, oh, that's nice. And it coats your mouth and it's wonderful chocolatey creaminess. It's very rich. This is not a single serving bar, despite what fat, fat chick may want to say. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another bite. You can have some more if you like. It's very, very rich. Good. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Very good. Smooth. It's not overly sweet, though. No. The chocolate flavor still does shine through. Even though it is a milk chocolate, it's not a dark chocolate. So, um, yeah. Even though sugar is the first ingredient, at least it's sugar. And not some weird sweetener. It's not high fructose corn syrup, which does make a difference. Or any other weird sweetener. It's just sugar. It's as if you made it at home. Only did a better job than I could do because chocolate making is an art. It, it, it takes way too much patience that I have. But wow. Yeah, and the, what you see on the camera is like white dust is where it's busted little pieces have tried to stick to it again. It is absolutely brilliant and beautiful, especially when you bust it open look at that let me try to block my face out so it'll focus 
That is a lovely, smooth chocolate. It's very smooth. Oh, let me tell you something. Chocolate from the other side of the pond is just better than chocolate made here. I think it's the ingredients. I think it's because here, most of the time, we're not using real sugar anymore. And this is just a nice, rich, I have to take another bite chocolate. Mm. Oh, and it does melt in your hand. But that's okay. You can wipe it on my pants. Be all right. Mmm. That's yummy. Yes, it is. Here. Since you're not going to talk, eat chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. We had another Norway... Um, same brand of chocolate before that had different things in it. Like one was a crunchy and one was, had something else in it. They're like three different within each one. This just being all chocolate, like OMG chocolate, y'all. That will really take care of a chocolate fix. And then some. I think if you tried to eat the entire bar, it would be like total overload because it is super rich. But that doesn't stop me from wanting to keep eating it, eat it, and then have a bite of something salty like a pretzel, and then eat it some more. That's an idea. Hmm. Anywho, this, let me uh, show the package again here if I can keep it from all falling out. This here, whatever this word is, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. That is Fat Chick approved. Totally. What did you think? Oh, I absolutely approve of it as well. One one that cannot approve of it is this little feller who's coming up because I've got the camera on. Because chocolate is not good for cats. So we don't give it to them. So he cannot approve. Even though everything we eat he wants to have. Don't you? I know Oscar. Everybody loves when Oscar makes an appearance. Let me turn around. He doesn't like the bright light. But his sweet face needs to see this camera. Come here. There you go. Yeah, you show everybody that sweet face. He sweet boy. Okay. Go we'll see your Uncle Sean. He loves all his people. And his people include Uncle Sean. So, yeah. Oh, he's going to his water fountain. He didn't want us at all. Water fountain. Anyhow, thank you for coming by for snacks around the world. Don't know what we're doing next week, but it'll be something interesting. I'm absolutely sure. Uh, you may have seen a playlist pop up over our heads at some point. Check them out. I've got several different playlists. I do snacks around the world on Mondays. It's time for tea. Of course, there's time for tea every day. So no matter what day you're watching, you take some time for tea. Um, also, book looks, crochet books, craft books, vintage stuff. It's always kind of fun to take a look through those. And on Saturdays, it is the Saturday vloggy thing, which kind of wraps up everything that's been going on throughout the week and all my crochet stuff going on. And you never know what pipe might pipe up in between. There might be haul videos because I tend to like to shop. He's laughing because he went with me to Dollar Tree. I drug him around Dollar Tree. And he was like, my God, can we leave yet? Because I'm like, no, I have to look at this again. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for coming by. Thank you, Sean, for eating some chocolate with me. Thank you. And um, we will sign this off for now. See you very soon. Bye, y'all.